Today we are saying goodbye to our house in town. Finally, it's been a long time coming. We've been waiting for this day for over a year. Had this place listed and it just it wasn't selling. And you know, we've struggled a lot. We've been stressed financially, mentally, uh, any way possible really, we've been stressed. So it's just super nice to have this house gone and be able to move on with our life and actually be able to pursue our goals on our farm in the way that we intended to. You know, like when we first started this journey, we thought that we would get our land and we'd get it to where we can move out there and then we'd put our house up for sale and it would sell within like a month, maybe two. And then we'd be able to just basically move on with life and start pursuing things like maybe getting a tractor or upgrading our vehicle that we drive as a daily driver and just like a lot of other things that didn't happen because this house wouldn't sell. So to have this house sold just means that we are able to finally uh, pursue the things that we wanted to. And that doesn't mean that we're necessarily gonna go out and just buy a bunch of stuff right away. We're still not quite in that position to do that because of the astronomical loss that we took on our house, which is extremely unfortunate. We had lost a lot of equity in this place and um, definitely not made any money here. So, but it is what it is. I mean, we can't hold on to it forever and it needs to go. So it just, that's just the way it is. And we're bittersweet, I guess. It's bittersweet to see it go, but also we're happy. So yeah, today's the last day I'm in the house. Tomorrow, the new owners take possession at noon. So I'm just kind of checking everything over, turning the water back on, making sure that everything looks good for the new owners. It's nice and warm in here. Yeah, and kind of just saying goodbye, I guess. This was the house that we bought, Cole and I, when we first started uh, dating. Well, not first started, I guess. It would have been about a year after we started dating. We actually bought this house and then this was the house that we bought our brought our first child home into this was her room Stella's first room it was a different color back then we had it painted to make it look more appealing to buyers because it was all sorts of colors which we found out uh, nobody likes that and we didn't either when we lived in this house but one of the things that we learned from our real estate adventure was that the sacrifices that we were willing to make with our house, not many other people were. So we kind of suffered with maybe older appliances and weird paint colors and not updating a lot of things and just kind of living with the way the house was, hoping that in the future when we went to go sell it, that we wouldn't have had to put too much extra money in. And instead of focusing on the things that are inside the house, we actually kind of ended up focusing on the outside. So the yard, like we put garden boxes in, we built a 10 by 10 shed with a loft and we did a retaining wall. We regraded around the house so there's proper drainage, all that kind of stuff. And you know, we never found anybody that really appreciated that as buyers. We got a lot of feedback on the showings on the house and that was never something that anyone seemed to care about. They really only cared about the inside of the house, which is the opposite of us. And it was honestly really hard to find a buyer in our price range because our house is, is very comfortable. It's a great house, but it is small. It's only uh, 820 square feet. That is the upstairs and then it has a finished basement as well. However, not a lot of people want a house that small and they want a garage especially up here in Canada where it's cold and it just provides extra storage as well we understand why people want those things but yeah it was just uh interesting to see the sacrifices that we made a lot of pe other people in this price range were not willing to make or 
Um, they were willing to spend in a higher price range to get the things that they wanted. So yeah, uh, I think there was a lot of things that made this place hard to sell, but regardless, I'm glad that it has found a new home and that we are able to finally just focus on what we want to do and not have to worry about uh, if this house is going to have something happen to it when we're not here. We rented it out for a little while, but that just, being a landlord is not my thing. I don't like people. I find people just don't respect your property like you would if you lived here and they don't pay rent on time. And yeah, I'm sorry to say it, but yeah, we just really don't like tenants. So we a lot of times didn't have it rented out, which made the monthly bills higher. Of course, we we're paying for an empty house, thinking that it would sell. And it kept not selling and not selling, not selling. So yeah, it's been a journey. It's been fun, <laughs> not really, but uh, Cole and I have definitely learned how to communicate better and learned how to become better partners with one another during stressful times and just be there for each other when other people maybe are wondering if we're crazy. This was our room. The upstairs bedroom. I will show you. This is the shed that Cole built. We had a little fire pit in the back and we had built some garden boxes. This was our parking stalls in the back. We had a fenced yard for the dogs, which was great when we lived in town, when we had our golden retriever. Uh, this was the little bathroom upstairs. Funny thing is we moved into a modular home or a trailer and now we have our own ensuite, which is kind of cool. So I feel like we've upgraded in some ways and maybe downgraded in others because our house actually has less room in it now than, it, than we did when we lived here. Our little pantry. This is the kitchen. It was nice. <laughs> nice size. Great for two people. Great for when we had a little baby. But the uh, downfall was that we had stairs here because it's a bi-level house. Oops. So that was kind of a pain in the butt when we had a kid, a little girl, that wanted to go down there. We had to make sure that it was always blocked off. And now our house doesn't have stairs in it, which is kind of nice. Uh, this was the basement. So you come down the stairs there. This was the true master bedroom, but we didn't really use it as such. Cole only actually used it to sleep here after night shift. And uh, then we used it as a guest room. We had a nice big finished area, kind of a rec room, which we had lots of different plans for over the years, but what it really ended up being was my leather working room and our office. And this is our little downstairs bathroom that we basically just used for guests when they came over. And then our little uh, laundry room and utility room was in there and it wasn't finished. But yeah, that's our little house. So last time in it, kind of taking this video as a memory, I guess. Ah, oh, what the heck, I'll go under here too. It's our little dungeon. <laughs> Not really, it's just our storage under the stairs. But yeah, I gotta make sure all these lights are off though. I don't leave all lights on. Oh, it's gonna be weird when we come into town. We drive by our house and it's no longer our house, it's somebody else's house. It was a good house. We had good memories here. It pushed us towards our goals and helped us get to where we are now. And yes, we took a loss on this financially, but you know what? We learned a lot and you don't learn anything by living your life and avoiding risk. It was a risk taking this place on. We were young when we bought our house. I was 18 and Cole was 20. But this house taught us a lot. 
It taught us the beginnings of how to be married. It taught us the beginnings of having a newborn. It allowed us to be close to family and how to be good homeowners and have good care for our property and just taught us that uh, the sacrifices that we made six years ago when we first moved into this house and over those years just allowed us to get to where we are today, which is of course on our ranch and pursuing the dreams that we always wanted. But yeah, I didn't mean to make that into a TED talk, but yeah. <laughs> Saying goodbye to our first house. Thanks for tagging along on our video today. If you guys have any uh, comments or anything, as always, make sure you leave a comment there. Like and subscribe, please. That would be awesome. We would love to share our journey with more people. And make sure that you're always staying up to date on what the heck we're doing. But for now, we will see you guys later. Take care.